Hey, Susan, I'm going to cook tonight. What do you want for dinner? I get some of that ground turkey. Why don't you make a meatloaf? All clean. I'm going to have a tasty, moist turkey meatloaf on this table in 30 minutes. 35 minutes. Well, the video is only going to be about 10 minutes long, but you know what I'm talking about. I hope to accomplish this using the air fryer. I've never made a turkey meatloaf, or I've never even made a meatloaf in the air fryer before, so this is going to be an experiment. But I hope to accomplish a homemade plate of comfort food that would make my mama proud. You watching, mama? Welcome back everyone. If this is your first time visiting, make sure you subscribe, especially if you're interested in shortcuts, economizing, and eating well. Let's talk about meatloaf. My sister and I call it 50s food because it was a big go-to for my mom and her generation, although I'm sure it goes back much further than that. In the 50s, Betty Crocker made it super popular with their hamburger recipes, and if you didn't want to make it, but you still loved it, you could heat up one of those newfangled TV dinners. Meatloaf evolved as people found ways to stretch protein and use up all their leftovers. Besides the meat and all the vegetables and herb possibilities that might reside in your kitchen right now, there are three key ingredients for meatloaf and meatballs. Eggs and breadcrumbs are binders that get the ingredients to stay in a stable form. Parmesan cheese is used for flavor and texture. I usually buy the pre-shredded bags at the supermarket, but you can also use these cans of pizza cheese. Ground turkey is a fine substitute for hamburger meat, but it does tend to dry out a little bit when you cook it. So I'm gonna recommend thinking about a couple of different things. First of all, consider buying 8515, okay? It's definitely juicier than options with lower fat ratios. If you're looking for lower calories, 93.7 does have fewer. But keep in mind that turkey in general is considered healthier than beef, making either option preferable. By the way, I do love and eat beef, but maybe just once or twice a week. And while you're looking at it, check the use by date. If you pick up a package that has today's date or yesterday's date or sometimes even tomorrow's date on it, you'll know your mistake immediately when you start cooking it. Another thing you can do to keep turkey meatloaf moist and juicy is to include chopped up mushrooms. So we're going to fry up some onions and some mushrooms and some avocado oil. We'll season it with salt and pepper and we'll in a few moments include some Worcestershire sauce and some garlic. Medium low heat. We're not trying to saute the onions. We just kind of want to sweat them down a little bit. This is what the uh, mushrooms look like after I chopped them up nice and fine. It's not going to taste like mushrooms, so if you don't like the flavor of mushrooms, don't worry. It's not going to, it's not going to overpower the meatloaf. It's just going to, like I said, it's just a texture thing. It's just going to keep them nice and moist. Okay, it looks like I forgot to turn the camera on as I was cooking down the uh, mushrooms and the onions. Uh, eventually I added some Worcestershire sauce and some garlic. So it's important because it was going to be adding a lot of flavor. So, and, uh, let's just pretend that I did it. Okay. <laughs> While the mushrooms and the onions are cooking down, uh, I'm going to make a side dish. So we love mashed potatoes and what, you know, what could be better with meatloaf than mashed potatoes, right? But we had this leftover cauliflower. So I thought I would, uh, put together some faux cauliflower or no faux mashed potatoes. <laughs> And uh, so it's just 10 minutes uh, on the stove in some water, soften them up a little bit, drain them. And then you want to add a quarter cup or so of cream cheese or sour cream. I make my own yogurt cheese with this little gizmo here. See how the whey separates with the screen? So I'm going to use that. And uh, so I just spoon it into the, uh, the cooked cauliflower. We'll add a tablespoon or so of butter. Some of this Parmesan cheese, I don't know, quarter cup or so, salt and pepper, and then you give it a mash. You could you could make it nice and smooth if you have a um, 
you know, food processor. I'm just doing it this way because, I don't know, we, we kind of like it a little chunky. And I'm going to tell you, this really smells good right here. Yummy. All right, for something green, I'm going to use these Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to air fry them. I'll uh, cut them in half, give them a little more surface area, just keeping it real simple with olive oil, salt and pepper, uh, probably 370 in the air fryer for about 12 minutes. And then I'm going to use these uh, leftover pieces of celery in the meatloaf. Do, by the way, do you keep them in water like that? that? That'll bring them back to life. If they're starting to get a little soft, uh, just cut them down and put them, in a, put them in some water and they will crisp back up. So I'm going to chop these up into small pieces. They'll make interesting little crunchy bites, you know, in the meatloaf. Uh, you know, of course, you could do this with carrots or, you know, whatever you have in your fridge. That's the idea, right? All right, let's put this loaf together. I've got the ground turkey, the breadcrumbs, I've gotten a beaten egg, our mushroom and onion mixture, the chopped celery. I've got some fresh parsley here. You can also use cilantro or whatever, whatever you have that's fresh, especially, and some seasonings. Okay, I messed up again. Can you guess what key ingredient I left out? That's right. After talking about how important Parmesan cheese was, I left it out of the bowl. So I went back. I got my hands dirty. I put about a third of a cup of Parmesan in, in there. And uh, so now we're going to pretend that everything's fine. You hit it. You hit the <laughs> All right. So uh, I eventually got the shape that I wanted on the sling. You won't see that, of course, because the camera wasn't on. Uh, I put it in the air fryer, set it for 25 minutes. Uh, I thought that the last five minutes I would put a little bit of glaze on there. It's set for 390 degrees. All right, we're 25 minutes in. So, uh, my plan is to put a little bit of glaze on it, but I think I ought to take the temperature first. So I'm getting about 135, okay, 137. And it's probably gonna need to go back in for a little bit longer. I'm probably gonna set it for another 10 minutes or so. I wanna get it up to at least 165. All right, why don't I go ahead and whip up some of that glaze, starting with a quarter cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, teaspoon of Worcestershire, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a teaspoon of dry mustard. This is gonna be tasty. We'll brush it on in the last five minutes in the air fryer so that brown sugar can caramelize. Yum. No, of course I didn't have the camera on when I actually put the glaze on the meat.
All right, we still got a couple of minutes, but uh, I'm gonna do a quick temp check just to see sometimes that uh, temperature gets away from you. Oh yeah, sure enough, we're a little over. 170, 174 looks like. No biggie, it's still gonna be delicious. This is the turkey meatloaf. It took me a little more than 30, 35 minutes is what I promised, but I uh, had a couple of hiccups. So it took me a little bit longer, but not much. Mm -hmm. It took me about that long to complete. Just kidding. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. It's really good. Mmm. What's in this? Well, there's little chunks of celery. Yeah. Parmesan cheese, Ooh. and um, there's mushrooms and onions. Mushrooms? Yeah. Wow. Is there a glaze? I put a glaze on at the end. Kind of a tomatoey glaze? Yes. My mom used to just use ketchup. <laughs> I, never, I never really liked the ketchup. So um, I jazzed it up a little bit. What did you jazz it up with? brown sugar and mm. Worcestershire and a little dry mustard. Mm. But uh, yeah, there's a little cr uh, crispy, crunchy outside on this. The air fryer, you know, did that. Oh, you did this in the air fryer? I did it in the air fryer. Oh! Yeah, it only took about 35 minutes to cook or so. I thought you did the Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. I did. I just finished oh, those in the air fryer. Oh my god. And um, yeah. Mm. So it's an air fryer dinner. Those are good too. Yeah, you like those? Yeah. Uh, I'm really happy with the the way the meatloaf turned out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't believe this is turkey. It's ground turkey, and it's um, nice and moist on the inside, and a little kind of a crunchy outside. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you like this video, make sure you give us a little uh, uh, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, maybe give us a like, and um, in the comments, let us know, you know, if uh, you would have done anything different, or if you have any ideas for uh, maybe a future video. And uh, I've got a handful of other videos out there, so uh, maybe you could watch them right now. Thank you. Such a good cook. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Ha, 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 ha.